It's a young girl's business. It's something that I have done it for over 16 years, and I, you get bored. When supermodel Iman moved from her native Somalia to New York over 30 years ago, she'd never even worn makeup or seen a fashion magazine. But since then, she's helped revolutionize the fashion business and redefine our standards of beauty. Although Iman hasn't been modeling much over the last decade, she joined us in the FT office recently to give us an update on her career. At the end of the day, is about longevity. How do you keep uh, stylish and classy and in a world that is very trend-obsessed and wants everything fast and furious? How do you stay true to yourself and stay classy, classic, so to speak? Iman Mohammed Abdul Majid, the daughter of a Somali diplomat, was discovered by photographer Peter Beard 30 years ago while studying political science at Nairobi University. Here's my first picture of Iman. This is in my bathroom looking in the mirror. She had a lot of poise, she had a huge neck, she was, uh, she was easy, she was in there, she, she, she had it made. After moving to New York in 1975, Iman quickly became an icon in the world of fashion, appearing on countless magazine covers and walking the runways for the world's most influential designers. Besides modeling, Iman is also the CEO of her own cosmetics line. She's written books, appeared in feature films, and starred in music videos. Iman has also attracted a lot of attention with her marriage to another style icon, music legend David Bowie. I, I just want to get dumped because I like you too much and I want to be with you all the time. The two of you as pop culture icons just have such a profound uh, image and have had such an impact over the years uh, in so many ways. And been married for 13 years with a five-year-old little girl. <laughs> So, you know, we try to, like, now keep it as low-key as possible. And uh, I love everything to do with homes and cooking and all that stuff, you know, because I cook every night at home. So, yes, <laughs> I'm a total domestic diva in that way. She'd never known that I was ever a model because she'd never seen pictures of me. So the, uh, on the last fashion week, uh, in New York, uh, she saw a fashion show on, uh, on the news, and she came running into the bedroom. I was on my way to dinner, I was getting dressed, and she said, Mommy, Mommy, when you go out tonight, put your hands on your hips like this and walk with your foot one in front of the other. And I said, maybe one day I'll tell her what I used to do. <laughs> After 30 years in the fashion business, Iman is sharing her modeling experience in a book for multi-ethnic women called The Beauty of Color. She made an appearance in Toronto recently to sign books and share beauty tips. Would a book like this have been possible 30 years ago? Or would it have been as welcome 30 years ago and as necessary as it is today? Yeah, no, it would not have been. Uh, because simply the, uh, the notion and the standard of beauty for so long has been blonde and blue-eyed that we would not have had a place. I mean, we didn't have a place for black models. Forget about multicultural people. Uh, so no, it's just the timing is right and the most celebrated beauties now in, in Hollywood are Halle Berry, Jennifer Lopez, Lucy Liu, including Cameron Diaz who have half Spanish. Mm. So it, it, the neighborhoods have changed, the standard of beauty have changed and women now are defining beauty in their own terms and uh, how they see themselves. Do you think ever about, you know, the day when you're a little old lady, <laughs> when you're like 80 years old and where you want to, you know, be or what, what feelings you hope you have about your... Uh, hopefully I have raised a, a healthy and well-adjusted little girl. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I, yeah, I'll be very calm and quiet and happy with my knitting and cooking for David, if God willing. <laughs> if God willing. <laughs> yeah.